morning, you guys. This is Stephanie coming at you from Texas Health Healthly Fitness Center. Uh, I have an at-home workout for you today. It's going to be another hardcore class. So when we define our core, we're looking from our shoulders to our hips, front, back, and down the sides. So that's what we're going to be working out today. This workout we're going to do in 45-second intervals, a 15-second quick transition right into the next thing. So as we're continuing to move quickly, you might get your heart rate up on this one, burn a few more calories and really tighten up that core. We're going to be doing two moves, alternating with each other. So like one side, one move, the other side, another move. If we're just repeating a move that's both sides combined in one, then we're going to make it harder on that second round. Okay, so I'm going to show you tons of modifications, but we are just going to keep it moving. So just follow along, listen to the cues of my voice. Remember, anytime you're doing crunches or planks, you don't want to be straining your neck or looking up trying to see what's going on. So try to just listen to those verbal cues. That way you can keep your neck and your spine in alignment as we go through. Hardcore, I always start out with four minutes of crunches. So go ahead and lay down on your back. I'm going to start our music and start our workout timer so that I know how long we're going today. And every 30 seconds, we're going to change up the crunches. So I'm just going to be leading you through those. It's going to be quick, you guys. Let's go ahead and take it down to our backs right here. I'm going to start our music. And starting off with some regular crunches in three, two, one. All right, fingertips behind those ears. We're crunching straight up. We're going to be here for 30 seconds. I don't care how quick you're doing these crunches. The goal here is to really warm up our core. We're going to be doing crunches and obliques and some rotations. Good. Make sure you're leaving space between your chin and your chest. Try to crunch up to those shoulder blades. Really pressing that lower back into the mat. All right, we go to one diagonal. So we're lifting up one shoulder and tapping it back down. Be sure as you come across, you're not pulling with that back hand. Okay, we're leaving the elbow open. I want you to think about whichever way you're going, pressing that other hip down into the floor. That's going to help stabilize those hips. Really work that rotation around the waistline. Good. Be sure you're just tapping back down. We don't want to hang out at the bottom. Switch sides, you guys. Up. Good. Nice and easy. No collapsing at the bottom. Remember, we're pressing that opposite hip down into the floor. Opening those elbows out wide. Good. Keeping that head hovering off the mat if you can't the whole time. Good. Try to leave those knees straight up to the ceiling. All right. One hand's going to come out to the diagonal. Keeping on those shoulder blades. We're going to reach out for the bottom corner of whatever room you're in. So I'm crunching rib to hip right here. My other hand is just supporting my neck. And I really want you to reach. Make that hand nice and wide. Open up the fingers. Reach. It's not a diagonal crunch. It's an oblique crunch. Good. Both knees staying straight up to the ceiling. And we switch. Supporting with the other hand. Reaching for that other far corner of the room now. Crunching. Rib to hip. Now anytime you need a break, Feel free to lower the head and shoulders back to the floor and then just pick it back up and let's keep crunching. Good. Hopefully your abs are starting to feel a little bit warmer now. I know my arm. Alright, both hands behind the head. Take it to a butterfly here. Crunching up to the tips of the shoulder blades and lowering back down. Now on this set, you're going to have that natural curve of your spine off the floor because of the position of our legs. That's okay. We just don't want to be adding any arch to it. Lacing up those ribs each time you crunch up. Alright, we're going to extend both legs. Cross one leg over. Whichever leg is on top, you're crunching up to that direction. Good. Using those feet to help you really resist any rotation as you fight with those abdominals to get the rotation.
Mine looks a little awkward with the boot. But you guys feel free to really wrap those feet around. Cross it over. All right, let's switch it. Other leg on top now. Crunching across to whatever leg is on top. Be sure you're keeping that top elbow open. Good, bring yourself up. We're gonna come to a standing position 
now. You're going to need just space on a wall. <coughs> Tapping the bottom of your foot to the wall. Knees stay together. I don't want you to lean back. Standing up tall, you're going to rotate toward that bent leg. Good. This one's called a back burner. We have a lot going on here as far as stabilization and rotation. Good. You want to stand up nice and tall. Don't start to lean back into that wall. Okay? We want to be standing right up on top of our standing leg. Just supporting with that back leg. Good. Keeping those ribs in. Trying to take your back elbow toward that wall. Good. Come on, really turn. Excellent. We're doing the same thing on the other side. I don't know how long I'll balance on this boot, but you guys are going to go for that full 45 seconds. Transitioning over. Make sure you're standing up tall, not leaning back, and rotate the other direction. Good, nice and slow. This one is not about using momentum or getting a million reps in. This is about really using those core muscles, working through that rotation.
right here to the hips if you want that weight. Slowly slip feet are together, upper body's relaxed into your mat, and let's go for it. Good, keep lifting you guys. Getting that booty work done today. It's already hot in Texas. I know some of you have probably already been in your pools this summer. Getting that booty ready to go. Woo, squeeze it. Come on, push it off the floor. Good, let's lower down. All right, more work on that posterior chain. We're going to a reverse plank right here. So my knees are facing up to the ceiling. My hands are going to be just behind my shoulders. I'm going to lift up into a reverse plank. Nice and proud. I'm going to barely tap my seat back down and then take it up again. Okay, a modification right here may be that you just lower the elbows and then press back up. Lower the elbows, keeping those abs pulled in, and press back up. Good. Keep those toes pointed so that as you press up into that reverse plank, the toes and the whole sole of your foot are in contact with the mat. Checking what we're doing next, y'all. Perfect. Good. This one looks easier than it is. Perfect. Coming back down to your back, we're going to take those legs up, hands under the hips for support. I want you to externally rotate. We're going to be taking it to a crisscross, but working at a 45 degree angle if you can. Okay? Now, this is not for you today. If you go here and your back starts off arching off the floor, just bring those legs back up to 90 degrees. Okay? Good. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed in this position. Really pressing that low back into the mat. Tying up those ribs like a bow. Good. Keep breathing. You got it. And bring it back up. Great job, you guys. We're going to change both of these moves up because they're the same. Coming back to our reverse plank, toes are going to be pointed. We're going to add a leg lift as you come down. So it's a lift. It's a barely touch leg lift. Press up. You're hovering just barely in contact with that floor. Press up. And leg lift. You guys keep going. I want you to initiate that leg lift from your abdominals. Don't just use momentum from the leg. Good. You got it. Ten seconds. Elbow is right under the 
the shoulder. Ribs are going to stay lifted. Take a hold of your top leg or your pants. Now lift up that bottom leg. What I don't want you to do is roll all the way back and lift. I want you to keep this leg high. Bring up that other leg. We're getting that top oblique stabilization here. We're lifting with the bottom oblique and stabilizing. Activating that inner thigh on the bottom leg. These are my new favorites, y'all. I do these every day. 10 seconds. Woo! Try to keep that hip up. Don't let that extended leg, don't let your booty touch the floor. Good. Release it. Remember which leg you did. Come up to a seated position. Rolling like a ball. All right? My hands come to my ankles, and then I scoop out my belly and lift my feet. I'm rolling my shoulder blades and up. I'm going to add an extension. You don't have to. Now, if you're thinking this is really easy, try to keep your heels super close to your body. If you're thinking this is really challenging, when you come up, I want you to sit up and take a break. Then round that belly again and go for it. Be sure you're not letting your head touch the floor on these. Woo! That's our time. Go ahead and flip it over to the other side. We'll get set up on that elbow. Lifting through those rib cages. Grab your leg, your pants, whatever works for you. Extend that bottom leg. Here we go. Lift and lower. Good. Try not to roll back and tap that top booty cheek to the floor. Okay, keep it lifted. You got it, y'all. Woo! I hope you guys are feeling those top obliques right here. That's where I feel it first, always. Good. Try not to sink into the shoulder. Keep it nice and high for me. Perfect. Woo! All right. Rolling like a ball again. I'm going to sit up nice and tall. Bring my knees in. Wrap my hands. And then round my belly. Go ahead and lift your toes off the mat. Yes. We'll roll back. Lift it up. And extend if you can. Remember if you need to, take a break. Reround the back before you roll again. We're a ball, so we're not working with a flat back. We're working with a rounded spine.
fingertips are going to be behind the head. We're going to send diagonal crunches. So I want you to lift up, lift one shoulder and the other. This move is not about momentum. It's about control. Okay? I want you to think like your shoulder blades are on eggshells. So you can't collapse. You have to stay nice and light on those shoulder blades. Now if you need to, modify, feel free to take those feet down and just work with the upper body. Diagonal crunches. Okay, that's a great modification if you need to. Squeezing those inner thighs together. Squeezing the knees together. Woo! All right, let's take it to the other side of that plank move. So facing the other direction. Remember my knees are out, my toes are in, hands are right under my shoulders. Ready, lift up your front hand. We rotate down, open. This is my weaker side, y'all. This arm is like, no thanks. I don't wanna hold all of you up, okay? Take it slow. Good, you're over halfway there. As you open into this side plank, really feel those bottom obliques kick in, okay? Our abs 
abs are doing the work. Okay, we're going back to that same big tabletop with a cross under, hip dip. So hands are coming behind you again. Feet are going to come flat to that floor. Go ahead and press up to your tabletop. Same thing, cross one under, hip dip, switch. Be sure you're not letting your feet come too close into the body. Okay, keep them out there. Sit you over and across and get that hip down to the floor. Elbows are nice and soft. Good. Focusing on that core here, y'all. Put your focus where the work is happening. Almost there. Five seconds. Let's get two more in. Ready, one more. Woo! All right, shake it out. Going back to that C curve. So from that seated position, scooping out your belly, taking a hold behind the knees if you need to. Go ahead and tuck that pelvis under and release those arms. It's back for two inches, up for two inches. So you're working in a very, very small range of motion right here. Good. Exhaling as you come up. Be sure you're not coming up all the way here, y'all, unless you're taking a break, unless you need that. Otherwise, stay in that seat. That's where we're building that strength. Perfect. Be sure your feet are staying flat on the floor. We don't want any feet raising here. If you can't go back as far as you are without lifting your feet, don't go back that far. Awesome. Now I'm gonna grab a weight for this one. You don't have to, okay? This is a mermaid sit. My elbows are gonna stay glued to my body. I'm on my knees right here. No momentum. We're gonna take a seat to one side, okay? And I'm gonna get right back up. Same side. Now if you don't wanna add that weight, the weight's gonna make it heavier. It's just adding weight that you have to get up off the floor. Two things, don't raise this elbow to help scoop yourself up, and don't lift that knee to give you momentum. All right, it's nice and controlled. Good, pull those abdominals in. We're working this oblique and this hip, squeezing as we come up. Good, be sure your shoulders are tall. Even as you're sitting, we're not rounded over. Okay, chest is lifted, perfect. We'll do the other side in a second. Go ahead and come on down. Back to your back. Legs are gonna go up to 90. The move is lowering our legs to 45 and back up. Option one is right here with my hands under my hips, okay? If you wanna make this harder, option two, fingertips behind the head, hold that crunch. Just moving the lower body. Now I've got my knees out. My hips are externally rotated. My lower back is staying on the floor. The whole time. Good. Y'all, this should make your abs super shaky as you pull those legs back up. Tying those ribs up. Remember, hands can be under the hips for support if you need it. All right? Bring it up. Mermaid sit on the other side. Now, if you thought that was too easy for you, go up in a weight or add the weight if you didn't add it last time. Okay? Take a seat. Elbows in. Leave that knee down. Woo! Pick it right back up. That's it, you guys. Good. This one's kind of that total body work, too. As you squeeze those elbows in, you may feel your lats engage. We want to keep shoulders pressed down and back. See, my elbow came out that time. That's what I get when I don't concentrate, when I'm talking to you guys too much. Good. Now, your knee is naturally going to come off the floor a tiny bit. Just don't lift it too much. Good. Shoulders stay to the front the whole time. Don't turn to that wall to get up. Good. Whoop. Go 
Blend it up. Woo. All right, back down to your back. We're gonna switch legs that are on top this time. Still externally rotated, crossed at my ankles. Remember option one, hands under those hips. Lower and lift, concentrating on the lower back. Right here, or fingertips behind the ears, crunch it up. Good. You got it. You want to exhale as you pull those legs up. Good. Come on. Couple more. That's it. Strong abs, y'all. Woo! All right, rock yourself up. I'm going to grab a weight. can be a light weight. One-sided Russian twist, okay? Again, we're not gonna be sitting up with a straight back. Round your spine, hug that weight in. You're gonna turn to me, hand me the weight, back to center, pull it in. Turn and pass, center and in. Good. Again, as you turn one direction, we're concentrating on that opposite hip and foot. Knees are gonna stay up to the ceiling. Back hip is gonna stay pressing through the floor, aiding in that rotation, allowing you to go a little deeper. Be sure you have a rounded spine. Now, if you wanna do this without the weight, go for it. Almost there. All right, remember which way you went, y'all. We'll go the other direction. We're gonna lay it down on our mat. Legs are gonna be straight up to the ceiling. Hands under the hips, elbows out wide. These are reverse diagonals. So you're gonna take this up and then turn one hip. So now my knees are facing you instead of facing me. Up and over the other side. Now my knees are facing the back wall. Up and over. Almost like little ski jumps but on your back. Now, if you need to make this easier, I'd like you to bend those knees. Okay? Up and over with a bent knee if you need to. Otherwise, legs are extended. You want to be sure you're not collapsing down. Taking those hips towards your elbow. Good. Bring it in. Rock yourself up. I'm gonna flip around and face you again. We're doing the other side of that Russian twist. So my feet are flat. Grab that weight if you choose. Round through the spine. We'll turn, hand it, in and center. Turn, hand it, in and center. That's it. Pressing that back hip toward the floor. Good, you got it. Knees are straight up to the ceiling. Keep that rounded spine, y'all. You can see my belly is scooped out. Good. Really try to extend those arms way out there. Longer levers, harder work, right? Good. All right. Last set of those reverse crunches to the diagonals. Some people also call these windshield wipers, but I have a yoga move that I call windshield wipers, so I call these reverse diagonals. Both legs up, here we go. Up and rotate. So we're engaging that oblique, rib to hip, to pull the hips to the side. Good, exhaling as you crunch up.
We want to make sure that hand behind you is helping you sit up even taller.